this first in a series of short introductory videos um, that provide an overview of using Cabbage to develop um, plugins, audio plugins. So in particular, this series of videos is going to look at implementing a basic subtractive synthesizer from scratch using Cabbage. So um, Cabbage is, uh, like I said, it's a framework for developing plugins, audio plugins, and it uses a C sound programming language. So in order to develop anything using Cabbage, you have to have some kind of understanding of the C sound programming language. So I'm going to try and explain all the little bits and pieces of the um, of the language as we as we go along, as well as explaining different features that you have in the your Cabbage um, C Sound IDE. So I'm going to assume that you've downloaded and installed Cabbage. If you haven't, you can get it from cabbageaudio.com, um, which is so cabbageaudio.com, and you can go to download there, and then you can grab a package for Windows or OS X. If you're working on on Linux, you can also you can either build from from uh, source or you can clone the git repo and and follow the build instructions there it's pretty straightforward if you have any questions uh, you can go to the forum and you can ask questions there I'm closing comments on this because I want to encourage people to ask questions on the forum so if you've got any questions about this any of the content we're covering please um, just log in and, and post to the forum so when you open cabbage you get this you're meeting with a cabbage with um, a set of headphones and uh, no eyes and no face but if we draw them they would look like this okay that was useless now open so i'm going to go to file actually i'm going to go to file new and i'm going to create so when you go to file new you get an option for different project types we're going to click on the keyboard which is a sound synthesizer okay this would be a, um, an audio effect like a reverb or something like that and this is just for old school c sound people who want to stay away from any kind of plugin development and just want to write straight up C sound code. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to just create. So when you click on this to create a new um, instrument, C sound will generate a basic instrument for us. So it's going to generate a basic synthesizer for us. I'm just going to scroll this down here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to hit play. So straight up, straight out of the box, we have a very simple synthesizer with a little keyboard. Okay, so this is the plugin that you would see in a DAW if you export it and then open it in a DAW, which we'll, I'll show you at the end of this series of videos how to do that. Uh, and this is the code. So all of this code relates more or less to what's going on here in terms of how it looks and how it functions. So in terms of the code itself, the code is CSUN code is split up into different sections. So and the files are saved in a, with a .csd file extension. So they're basically text files that contain a load of instructions on how C sound is going to generate sounds or how it's going to modify sounds. And cabbage files have a little extra section at the top that describe and declare how the plugin is going to look. So for example, we've got this form which relates to this window that we see over here. Um, we've got this keyboard line which relates obviously to the keyboard that we see here. Um, we're going to cover more about the cabbage section later, but so the cabbage section is it, it exists outside the C sound. It's nothing to do with, with the C sound language at all. It's only about uh, declaring how things are going to look over there in this window. So the next section that we see is the C sound synthesizer section, and this is a kind of big one. This goes all the way from there all the way down to the end. Okay. Um, I'll just pull this down a little bit so we can see exactly where it goes. So it actually goes down to here. Uh, all your C sound code is going to be declared within that opening C sound synthesizer tag and this closing C sound synthesizer tag. Right, the next section we have is, um, let's see, is CS options, the CS options section. So the CS options section is this block here, and that's Basically, these are command line flags that get sent to C sound when we save our instrument, when we build our instrument. Okay, so what do they, what do they tell us? Well, basically, we can kind of ignore most of these because it's kind of these are just default settings that Cabbage uses. Um, basically, the minus n minus d tells C sound not to try and open up any audio devices and not to display any um, graphical, you know, windows or anything like that. The minus rt midi equals none basically is telling C sound don't try to open up any MIDI devices either because, well, Cabbage is going to look after all the, the MIDI messages and all that stuff. The minus M0D states that we want to use the default MIDI device, which is just going to be our, well, actually, MIDI device number zero, which is going to be, in this case, the host 
Um, so if you're loading the plugin into a DAW, it'll be the DAW, MIDI, whatever that's got, whatever that's set to. If we go to here, we set MIDI, we can check here and we can go to MIDI. So I've got no MIDI inputs because I don't have my keyboard plugged in. But so you can leave that anyway, minus RT MIDI equals null, uh, minus M0, minus M0D um, states, it, it lets us um, set the amount of messages we want to have printed to this console screen down here when MIDI or when C sound runs. So um, for example, this is our console screen and this is kind of really useful for debugging information for when our instrument starts. Um, for example, if I was to put in a little print statement here, so I'm just going to print hello from me to you and I'm going to put in a card return at the end of it. Each time I play this instrument, we can see hello from me to you is appearing down here on the screen. Okay, printing stuff to the screen is kind of useful when you're debugging your instruments and you want to figure out why something might not be working. Uh, so I'll take that out again for now. Um, so that's the minus M0D relates to that. Uh, the minus MIDI key CPS equals four and minus minus MIDI velocity amp equals five is a way of passing the information from the MIDI keyboard to our CSON instrument. Okay, and we're going to come back to that later, but it's just kind of handy way of tying the notes that are coming into or the notes that we play here to our CSON instrument. So that's the CS options section. We also have the um, the CS instruments. So this section here, which is kind of important because this is our main C sound code area. This is our C sound uh, orchestra file or instrument file. So, or a C sound instrument section. Uh, yeah, traditionally C sound uh, files were broken up into an orchestra and a text file. And this would what was used to be known as the orchestra, or sorry, an orchestra file and a score file. And this was traditionally what was in the orchestra file. And this was what was traditionally in the score file. So, um, but nowadays everything's in a, what's known as a unified C sound file, a CSD. So you can put them all into the same file. Anyhow, the first thing you see here is this section, which is the header section of your source code. And it tells C sound mm, how to kind of set things up, how to behave uh, and initializes some global variables. For example, it sets the number of channels to be two. So we're gonna be developing a stereo plugin. It sets 0 dBFS is equal to 1, which means our maximum amplitude value needs to be between minus, and uh, minus 1 and plus 1. Anything above that is going to give us some kind of uh, distortion. The next section that we have is an instrument block. So instrument blocks always start with inst and they always end with ending. Okay? Uh, you can have as many instruments as you like. As many C sound instruments can be defined as you like in your in your CSC file. They can play simultaneously, or one can trigger another. Uh, we'll cover more of what's going on here in um, in the next video. And then we've got the CS score section. So I'm just going to go new here. CS score section. So the CS score section is um, the section that defines how our instruments are going to run. So that's the section here. Now, luckily for us, we're just dealing with kind of real-time MIDI stuff, so we don't actually have to do much in the C sound score here. Um, traditionally, composers would have written, you know, huge scores with lots of text instructions for how an instrument is going to play, when it's going to start, how long it's going to play for, what kind of, what should all the parameter values be set to, and this kind of, this kind of stuff. Uh, in Cabbage, we can just, we're just going to use the, the MIDI keyboard to trigger an instrument. So we have this statement here that's F0 space Z, which just basically tells C sound to run for as long as we want it to, for as long as the session is open, run C sound. And C sound's gonna wait for messages from the MIDI keyboard. So uh, if I plugged in a MIDI keyboard as well, I could play this, this keyboard as well, but at the moment, as I said, I don't have a MIDI keyboard plugged in, so I'm just using the mouse. So that's the, that's the basic, these are the basic sections of the MIDI, or of the cabbage file. Um, these are the sections, yeah, you should, I mean, if you open up any C sound file uh, or open up any of the examples from the cabbage um, examples folder, you'll see similar kind of structure. So it's good to know before you start any coding what each of these um, sections do. Note too that the syntax for the score section is slightly different to the syntax from the um, orchestra section or the instrument section. So um, they use, I shouldn't say slightly different, it's quite different, completely different actually. Um, 
But like I said, we're not going to be doing too much with the score and we're going to be focusing most of our attention on the instrument section, which we're going to cover in detail in the next video. Okay, see you then.